Good day. So today we will be making a chicken shawarma, and this recipe consists of three like uh, three stages. First is we're gonna make the dough, then we're gonna do the marinade for the chicken, and also our vegetables. Okay, for the dough, we're gonna use the uh, plain flour, one and a half cup, instant yeast, a teaspoon, then salt, one four teaspoon, sugar, one teaspoon, cooking oil, two tablespoon and a cup of a lukewarm water. Okay, for the chicken, we will be using the breast part of the chicken. To marinate it, we're gonna use the one tablespoon of chili powder, um, garlic powder, and what do you call it? Salt, pepper to taste, and some paprika and lemon. For the filling together with the chicken, we're going to use tomatoes, white onions, cucumber, cabbage, and for our sauce, we're going to use the mayonnaise and a lot of garlic. So let's start cooking! properly. Mm -hmm. You have to rest your dough for about 15 minutes to 30 minutes until it doubles in size. Okay, for the breast, for the chicken breast, we have to cut it into strips before you marinate it. It's already been stripped. So we're gonna start off with the salt, garlic powder, and chili powder, but it depends on your taste. If you want it even more hotter, so you can add more. Paprika. It's already. It's also uh, just a few drops. Um, and pepper. Generous amount. Okay. It smells so good. Okay. So we're gonna just leave it for a rest. So at this point, we're gonna add our lemon. We're gonna grate some lemon zest and its juices also. You know, just to uh, infuse the lemon flavor on the dish. Okay. Just the yellow part, because if you, if you include the white part, it's gonna be bitter. Okay, I think half of the lemon is enough for this marinade. 
then okay mix it well okay so we're done so while our chicken is marinating and our the is resting we're gonna move on here to our vegetables which are gonna end up in our pita bread so we're gonna use the machine for this I'll be using the uh, cone number four and number one this these two these two cones but there are five of them here but these are the the cones that we're gonna be we're gonna use so shall we start Okay, so this is cone number yes. one. Yeah. We're gonna attach this here. So when you're attaching, you have to fold it like this way because the sharp edges are in this area. Okay, attach it, turn it, yeah. as easy as that. Okay, so we're gonna start with our okay, cucumber. Now you can use this area or this area for the little ones. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay? So it takes um just a few minutes for you to finish this. center then do a little massage <laughs> to your dough there. then of course you have to you put put a little uh, flour here so that we can manage them there. Okay, so let's try if it's already ready. So you see that? Our pan is already ready for cooking. Cute. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's just wait for the balloon to come out. <laughs> Ooh. 
cooking our pita bread. This is ready for our shawarma later on. So now we're gonna cook our chicken. So come along and cook with me. <laughs> Okay, everything now is already set. All we have to do now is to make our sauce for the shawarma. So there, there are only two ingredients for that. Uh, this is the mayonnaise and the garlic. Okay, you can add as much as you want uh, regarding the garlic. It depends on your taste. So we have uh, add one tablespoon to a four tablespoon mayonnaise. Almost there. Uh, I think I'm gonna add more. <laughs> I love garlic. Don't you love garlic? Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, so let's assemble. You have your pita right here. Okay, freshly cooked from scratch. So place it here. Get your pita bread here and a teaspoon of your sauce, your garlic sauce. Spread it all over the pita bread. There. Then you can get um, around. It depends on the size of the chicken. One or two. Okay, I have two. And then the cabbage. Just enough to cover the to to close the pita bread later. Okay, cucumber or cucumber depends on how you pronounce it. some tomatoes and onions okay so then you have to do is close it here then turn here and there you close it here there you have your chicken shawarma mm. should i eat this one you want this? Do you want this? I want this. Mmm. So this is our finished product, the chicken shawarma. Now, this is a very nutritious and healthy way to have a snack or a meal. So with salad master, everything is possible. 